you can't really control the outcome when you're producing music because it's all about emotion and it's all about your point of view so in that moment sometimes a good day friends welcome back to a new video here i am in the studio it's monday new week i already woke up at 10 went to the gym now i'm here planning the big event we have a little bit over a month until the party will be happening and the ticket sales it started okay then it slowed down a lot but now things are slowly starting to pick up which is getting me quite excited and i hope it stays this way because that means that we can actually focus just on the production itself and not just trying to promote the hell out of the party because you know making the party itself actually good in the end is what really matters getting the people there is very important as well right but delivering on the promises is something that now will be the focus of this month hopefully i get to also make some music focus a little bit on social media but it will be extremely focused this month i kind of had this shitty week last week but i think i found the issues and now i fixed them excited to show you what this week is gonna be like so let's go shall we bros So I finished up the first things on my task list. Now I'm gonna eat some food and then for the rest of the day it's gonna be a bit more chill. I'll just make some music and some social media content. So, I finished up work feeling super good, good start of the week, I got a lot of things done, everything is going to plan on the first day. Focus was pretty good, it wasn't perfect, I still got distracted, but slowly kind of getting back to my old self where I could be in a flow state for hours without getting distracted. And I mean, the only way to get there is just start doing it and slowly starting to notice the small things that are taking away your focus. When you're trying to get to the flow state, there can't be anything that distracts you. Anything. Because if it, the slightest distraction can cause you to lose focus completely. And that can cause you a lot of valuable minutes or even hours to get back to where you left things off. So now I'm gonna go back to home. I was supposed to stay at my studio to, to spend the night but because we've been watching this horror series with my girlfriend Jenny she made me promise that I would go home tonight because she is scared. So I'm gonna go home, eat some food, maybe we'll watch one episode of something on the Netflix and then Hopefully, I'll get to do it all over again tomorrow. Alright, so I finished up with work. Today wasn't as good of a day as yesterday. Sadly, I didn't get the best of sleep and I kind of felt that. Got distracted a lot. But it is what it is, we gotta keep going now. I'll have a sound vault meeting where we'll be planning the big party. So yeah, let's go. Where is the sweet spot where we can sell tickets at a good price that we can make some money, but also where we can sell enough tickets so that we can fill the place and get that revenue. Sadly, I ran out of battery before end of the meeting, so I couldn't really record anything yesterday. But we finished up the meeting and we were just discussing all the details regarding the events, the entrance, toilets, the stage itself and everything else regarding events because everything needs to be planned out before the event. 
So when we get to the venue to start building, everything needs to be figured out as much as possible because there will always be issues at the venues that we can't foresee. So that's why doing everything as well beforehand is very good because in that case, then you have time to deal with the not so happy surprises, right? So that one well, went home, chilled out. Now we are back here in the studio. I'll have to pay the artist fees now. How it happens with bigger headliners is you always have to pay the full amount a couple of weeks up to a couple of months for the show. Everything needs to be paid for the artist. So that's what I'm going to do. And we pray to God that nothing bad is going to happen because there is a lot of money invested already in the event. But now literally everything I have is in the event. And yeah, it's pretty nerve wracking because we are talking about tens of thousands of euros and you're risking everything into that one event because if it doesn't turn out to be a success then you work your ass off and you lose money now all my focus will go to make my set as good as possible the event as good as possible and hopefully yeah enjoy the process came home today was not a good day I did work pretty much the for the most of the day but the problem is that when I'm working and I'm doing my music or when I'm producing then how I should actually reward or feel good about it is that I push myself and then I did the thing and the outcome of it shouldn't really matter because you can't really control the outcome when you're producing music because it's all about emotion and it's all about your point of view so in that moment sometimes it can feel like it's not good or it's amazing it doesn't mean that it will be good or amazing in a month so that's my biggest hurdle right now trying to get rid of this feeling of sadness when I don't do something that I deem good just came from a walk I had to tried something different to get a different result usually I've noticed that when I have one or two bad days then it's always good to do something different in the morning to get your mind off the work and then it things just kind of happen you look like the people from from <laughs> open the, door. Open the, door. the door is open. So now we grind. I know I've been kind of away for the few days I can't say I didn't have time to log I just didn't have the mental capacity to do it so I'm back now I've been just working in the studio pretty much for the whole time some event business stuff as well but yeah I've been just pushing myself a lot in the studio just focusing on the vocal part of things and it's a challenge and a couple of days ago I was completely depressed but on this on some days it starts to come together and you know your singing voice is like any other instrument so I make music I'm good at it but now when I add my singing voice to it my production level is here but my singing voice level is here so 
there's like a clash in between those things even though if the track bangs the vocals are still keep dragging it down but I'm in this transition phase and I know how big of an asset and how amazing it's gonna be when I figure it out that I'm good enough where everything just locks in. I've, I've had those moments a few times and it's just amazing.